Ramble. Thank you to Rosetta Stone and BetterHelp for sponsoring today's episode. TikTok. 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 TikTok on the clock, but the killing don't stop. Ooh, I like yeah, that. Okay. Little yeah, remix. Really wow, nice. okay, it's okay. Nice. That Rice Krispie got you. I know. I'm, sh- I'm sh- shoveling. What are these Teddy Grahams down my <laughs> mouth as we speak? Welcome to Guilty Pleasures. <laughs> Becky Harrisburg is back in the house to Becky. talk to us. Becky G. Yes, she is. About Hunger Games catching fire. Wee, 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 wee. It's hot and hot and that was uh, you actually putting up that symbol <laughs> triggered me. Where I was like, please don't, don't put it up. Fucking put it down. Put it down. I don't want you. Someone's gonna come in here. Somebody's gonna come in here and beat Lock the dog you. shit out of you. I, I, this is like this is a me problem. This is not the movie. But every time they go to do the salute, I'm like, are these bitches Nazi saluting? Oh no 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 no! no, 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 no. no. It's yeah. arm all the way up. But they always start. They, the little yeah, arm yeah, starts yeah, to go yeah, up. Yeah, and yeah. I, yeah they were. It's the kiss. You got. Oh, they kiss her. Just smooch it. Yeah. yeah, it makes it okay. Just smooch it like a Girl Scout. Mwah. Yeah, that is very Girl Scout. Behavior. Yeah, right? Uh, we are here to talk about Hunger Games 2. They don't call yes. it 2, but Catching Fire yes. is the second installment in the Hunger Games franchise. Yes. Our girl Love Katniss it. Everdeen is back. Yeah. She's back <laughs> in the games. <laughs> <laughs> Peta is back. Yes. Other uh-huh. people are back. Blonde Katniss Daddy. Katniss is back. Oh, you Baker already said Katniss bread is back. Effie's back. Effie's back. Oh, Effie's back. Hey, Mitch is back. Senna is Senna, back, Senna. but not for long. Yeah. Oh. Well, not for long. We'll dive into it, but uh, well, <laughs> how we feeling, friends? Fucking so, dude! Watching this movie again. Yeah, I watched it at nine in the morning at my lover's Ooh. house. He had never seen any of them. <laughs> yeah, so he was like, "I was like, you can jump in at two. I, I don't need to explain." Yeah. Boy, was I wrong. Yeah, this he one was so is, wrong. This one is the all start lore, baby. of a river fucking uh-huh. it's All lore. Hype me up. I gas me up. I was, I forgot yeah. how good this fucking franchise is. Yeah. The acting in this, yeah. the story, this is, this might be the best sequel of a movie I've ever seen. Agreed. Sorry, Empire fuck Strikes the, Back. Fuck the Godfather. Yeah. Never yeah. saw it. <laughs> Truly Sorry, fuck Godfather the Godfather. Too. Sorry, Toy Story 2. Yeah. Not Sorry, Puss in Boots, yeah. The Last Wish. Honestly, Paddington, you're dead. Paddington, <laughs> fuck you. Dead, dead does. But it, it, I'm Catching really excited fire. to talk about wow, this. Wow, it was, wow, wow, wow. Oh. A satisfying sequel, yes. for sure. And it's what a movie's for. Yeah. And Becky, you're kind of our, our resident YA expert here. Yes, as a, I a, do a love hung- the yeah. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, what did Catching Fire mean to you? Oh, I love Catching Fire. I actually just watched it literally right before this. Oh, so you're- I did okay, pay the three ninety nine. dollars um, it, It's on Hulu. What? For free. <laughs> <laughs> Well, I knew it was pleasure, free baby. somewhere, yeah, but yeah, I was yeah. like, I've only got two hours. I do that every week. I gotta find it. Always gotta Google. I should have searched. Yeah, Google I it. Searched. You know what? That's on us for not prepping you as a guest. I'll invoice. I'll send it to Devin. <laughs> yeah, you know <laughs> a guy. You know a guy. <laughs> Please. Um, I absolutely adored the second book, the second movie. Mm-hmm. The first one is so good, and you think they can't top it, mm-hmm. and then you get to the second one. The second one is so dark. It's, it's bleak. so sexy. We get so more up. kisses oh, yeah. in this movie than any of the other movies. Oh, yeah, smooch is smooch. You get Finnick O'Dare and oh. the Sugar Cube. Welcome. That Finnick. was, I think, everyone's sexual awakening. Get Joanna. Like, My sexual jo- awakening. <laughs> yeah. Our I, my queen, Joanna. Yeah. I remember reading that scene in the book and being like, oh, what are they going to do for the actual movie? Uh-huh. And Derek, I forgot you read these. Oh, oh yeah. fuck yes, I read Wait, these. Wait, I forgot yeah, you read, I read these. Read these. I'm a yaya yeah, yeah, boy. Yeah, yeah, boy. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, I did, I did um, this, Aragon. Um, wow. Um, what's, the, what's the one with the, uh, the Divergent. boy? Divergent. No, no, no. The boy who, who is Harry a uh, is the son of Poseidon. I forget it. It's called oh Percy Jackson, Percy Jackson, Jackson, Jackson. and the Lightning Thief, which is yes. going to come out soon. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited, excited for, for the new one. I hope that it is more grim, like the book is. <gasps> yeah, yeah, than the OG. The yeah. Logan Lerman. Yeah, he's right. We like Logan yeah. Lerman. Can I give the synopsis? I wish he could stay. Please. I'm I'm so horny right now. I need to give the synopsis. <laughs> The Hunger Games is back. Oh, 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 you thought, you fucking thought you win one Hunger oh, Game oh, oh, and now you're just a billionaire sitting in your rich house, no. traumatized for life. Ha nah. ha! 
on, not on President Snow's watch, you cunt. Yeah. We're making <gasps> you go back. That's right. Catching mm-hmm. fire takes all the past winning Hunger Games heroes and puts them back into the raffle to be picked because we're having the 75th quarter quell Hunger Games. Oh, we think it's just another Hunger Games movie, isn't it? No. no, 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 friends. Like we said, this is the Mockingjay Revolution. This is where we see the people say no more factions, no more districts, no more capital in charge of our capitalistic lives. We are going to band together as Humans, once more, humankind, the Great War, who will do it again? We're coming back. This is The Hunger Games Catching Fire. Oh my God. <laughs> We're all going to die. <laughs> Wow, that was good. That was great. I, that this was a movie, good synopsis. That it, was like, I, really, when I was thinking about a sequel, right? Yeah. You want to see the Hunger Games again. You yeah. want to see them in the fucking yeah. arena, yeah. but you want to see it better. You yeah. want to see it harder. You want to yeah. see it faster. And Fuller. Hamish even tells you that. They're like, forget everything you knew about the original yeah. games. And you're mm-hmm. going, what? How could that be so? To know to to know how to write a sequel in literary form mm-hmm. is, is sh- truly shocking to me mm-hmm. to be like, no, I, I know that my audience is going to want the premise of these books to come back. Yes. Mm-hmm. And how can I figure out a way to bring it back in like, you know, a sequel form, like double mm-hmm. double the budget, double the mm-hmm. everything. And yeah, it, it, it is like twice as large. And of a, to of give a, it the stakes that it gives it where it's yeah. you have to go back. This is you fucking back. Hunger Games back. All-Stars. This yeah. is Hunger Games VIP. Yeah. This is how do we get the best of the best, the favorites of the p- favorites. How do we add the game? How do we up the games? How do we yeah. up the mm-hmm. torture? Yeah. And this one is fucking dark. And yeah. not just because like, the 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 relationships are darker the times are darker not because the revolution yeah. is happening like it is genuinely if, scene by scene more devastating if you are yeah. if you have seen the first one only and you have not jumped into the second one the like second me. <gasps> oh wow! Okay, this is my first time. It's your first time. What? God damn! Were you ready for people being literally shot in the head in <laughs> yeah. front of you? I was pretty uh, <laughs> taken aback. By it's a lot shocking. Of yeah, it is. It's shocking. shocking. It's also shocking what they get away with with the PG thirteen rating. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You have Lenny Kravitz as okay. The moment, our favorite moment in the first movie is right when Katniss is like about to go up in the tube, mm. and right before that happens, the glass tube closes around her. The, the guards burst in. Because. Burst his fucking face against glass. Mm-hmm. And you see blood splatter on the camera yeah. lens. Uh, and it's like, oh my God. Yeah, because yeah. there That's was one a, little moment. Yeah, there was an he, act of rebellion. Um, yeah. He changed her wedding dress into the Mockingjay symbol mm-hmm. when yes. she spun around and it, the, it lit on fire. And he was just like, this he is He will a not true have this in the ca- in, yes. under his own Actor nose. Regret, uh, President Snow yeah. will not have that but, happen in his own home. What I was saying, if you've seen the first one um, and you see, you remember the cornucopia scene, you're watching all these children die. This is the whole movie. <laughs> no, that exact tone of just watching um, young Jack Quaid murder a child yeah. is I literally mean, uh, this is the, that the whole movie. Plus old people. Yes. They really hit yes. the elder market uh, this yeah, time yeah, around, yeah, too. Yeah, the little yeah. spider monkey mags. The little yeah, oh spider monkey mags. You got the old man shot in the head. Like yeah. uh, They're really leaning into the older uh-huh. folks in this so, one. So when we begin the film... Uh, honestly, you guys are going to have to lead this better, yeah, better yeah. than me. But we begin the film. It is Katniss uh, has PTSD. Mm-hmm. She yeah. is out hunting. And is it is it little baby boy Jack Quaid she gets a flash of? Yeah, because that's who she shot. Bam. Right in the chest. Yeah, I mean, honestly, oh, if I the, killed uh, Jack Quaid, yeah, yeah. I also would have PTSD. I would have nightmares. <laughs> I'd be really I'd be really if I killed that, that sweet man. boy. I have, I have met, him, met him several times. He is just as sweet as you uh, imagine. Uh, you've yeah. been keeping that from us? No, oh, I yeah. knew that. He's, he's the voice of Boimler on Lower Decks. Yeah. I've met him a bunch of times. I didn't realize. Best Top one. tier Nepo baby. Top tier. Nepo baby for good. Top tier. No Who are his dads? Dennis Quaid. Oh, Thomas duh. Quinn and and, and Matt, Ryan. Matt Ryan. Duh, 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 duh. Matt Ryan. <laughs> I did say dad. Football player. Plural. Yeah, that <laughs> I was like, does everyone yeah. like that? <laughs> <laughs> Jack Quaid had two gay dads. <laughs> dead. Speaking of dead. Yeah. Speaking Jack of dad, Quaid is Jack dead. Yeah. dead. Yeah. 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 Uh, I do love to mirror the first movie because I, I remember this very vividly. There's a save the cat moment in the first movie. This time Literally. she walks up to Haymitch's house. 
That's his name, right? Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And a cat hisses at her, <gasps> which I don't really understand, but I liked it. Yeah. Because the cats don't like her. Yeah. She hates her cat. Hates yeah. Her cat. She hates her cat so much. Cat. Yeah. 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 That's mm-hmm. like her big thing is that she is in a fucking, she's going to cook the cat. Yeah. 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 Because, like, they don't have enough food. She's always threatening to do it. Yeah. yeah. Like, they're It's starving. like, that's a perfectly good meal we could have. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but they have to keep this cat. It's the same bitch that, like, I love kills it. pigeons and eats them raw in the forest. So, so, he's like, her lazy thing. Come on. Yeah. You have Liam Hemsworth, who's like, we get kisses. Not Chris. We get, we get Gail Smoochies, kisses. Smoochies. And yeah. what do we think about Gail as a man, as a character? Dog. Annoying. Here's the thing. I <laughs> was fucking all committed lazy. one war crime. Yeah, one. that's fair. That's the thing. I, I was so team Gail. I, I believe even in the last episode that we did, the first one, <laughs> yeah. I think I went Why, like, because crazy. he's hot? Yeah. Yeah. And he's got that like <laughs> quiet, steady support. Yeah. But here's the thing. <laughs> this movie reminded me that I kind of needed to change my mind about PETA. Because Gail. What? Gail. He a little selfish. And yeah. this one, he's still yeah. Yeah. he's still helping save her family. He's still yeah. a good old boy from home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Still that silent strong type. Mm-hmm. But Peta wants like what's best for Katniss. Gail wants what's best for himself. Yeah. At the beginning of the movie, you get mm-hmm. Gail just fucking sitting there and being like, Oh, I'm sulking because you kissed another man in order to save yourself and your How life selfish. and your people. That's fucking suck. I hate you. Oh, God. But I have to kiss you because I still love you. Whatever. And I'm going to run to the mine. Shut up, you (gasps) fucking loser. Because he has to go to work. He's not like PETA who can sit on his riches eating his bread. That's fair. Gail will be (laughs) smooch Katniss and then be like, tell me if you love me. And she's like, I can't do that right now. He's like, then I can't come with She. She's smooching you in the forest. She's always yeah. trying to run away. She's constantly like, Gail, let's go. Yeah. Let's take our, our pack of 20 and run. Actions speak louder than words. She obviously yeah. is into you, Gail. A little whiny ass bitch. It's true. But, you know, he gets his his lashes. Yeah. yeah he does. You know on. what? He deserved he gets, it. Oh, he gets damn. got by yeah, that one scary locked. man. From that man's so scary. That man's scary. Yeah. And, and he like, doesn't come back in the movie and you're just like, yeah, is he not in the sequel? Man. He's got to be. No. This is the, the big. I don't think so. You're kidding no. me. No. Okay. They introduced this He's guard who evil. is the head of some paramilitary. They come into town. They're fucking shit up under orders from President Snow. They lash Gale in the town square mm-hmm. like crazy. I Because th- he saved an old an old woman was about yes. to get lashed. And I am he was like stunned. he tackled the guy. Because it is He's an scary. intense character intro of like, oh, yeah. this is gonna be one of like the big bad villains of the mm-hmm. franchise. Yeah. And I am just in this moment learning that he never comes back. Here's the thing though, but you're touching so. on something I don't Zach, him coming back. that I think they did really well in this film is they personalized the villains in this one. Sure. And number oh, one, yeah. you think Big, bad, capital, that's bad. You don't really know, like, you don't really get to see President Snow. You don't really, you think of almost the bad guy in the first one as the game maker, the guy yeah. who's in behind the screen. Yeah. But in this one, you get fucking personal with the bad guys. Yeah. You get to see, well, what you think is Philip Seymour Hoffman character this time as the game maker. Mm-hmm. You get All to right, see we, we gotta, uh, we President gotta stop Snow. Right. <gasps> we got to stop right there. Um, no, just Philip oh. Seymour Hoffman. <laughs> I was like, oh, oh we got to stop. That's a whole ass conversation. Yeah, That's a whole ass conversation. <laughs> okay, yeah but you really get like, that's what I meant when this got darker is like yeah. you're getting a character like that guard where you're literally Garrick is afraid someone's going to walk in here and shoot us because yeah. we're making the Command, mocking Jay symbol. Commander Threat is his name. Y- uh, yeah. Oh. Thank you. Threat. Yeah, there's a moment we referenced it earlier, but uh, a uh, sweet old man yeah. uh, uh, puts up the mocking Jay symbol and he... Like, as the doors are closing, you watch this man get popped in the head. Oh. Yeah. And I was like, what is this movie yeah. This ain't your mama's <laughs> sequel, baby. No. It's intense. And that's what's really different from the first movie and the second movie is the first movie you just hear, like, oh, the capital sucks. Capital's mm-hmm. bad. Yeah. Capital's keeping us starving. We live in a <laughs> yeah. coal mining town. Yeah. Yeah. And in this one, the capital is literally, like, shooting people in yeah. the head and as yeah, doors yeah. close. And you're and starting to see... And you see people see, getting whipped. Yeah. You see people mm-hmm. f- getting flogged. Like, all these things. You're starting to see... The the districts turn on them. Like mm-hmm. one of my favorite setups, and that's why I think I love Joanne's character so much. Joanna's is like all the pregame stuff where they're all uh-huh. meeting the past victors and they're all hanging out at the the towers mm-hmm. and stuff. You really get to see like, oh shit, this is and 
I'm I might be being dramatic, but like it really reminded me when Trump got elected that like mm -hmm. people started mm -hmm. like banding together in ways that I was like, oh my God, I don't think I would have ever saw this person at a protest before. And now they're like out here. It mm -hmm. made everyone very political. And so I think that that was the energy it was giving is it was kind of reflecting that time where we were like, oh shit, we as people need yeah. to see each other as human beings. And like, we yeah. have the power to actually make action and do something and stop, yeah. stop it. And so- that one scene of them interviewing all the victors the night before the game where they each go up and they're trying to say anything uh -huh. to yeah. get them to stop the games from happening. Yeah. And then I love Joanna, who's just this <laughs> fucking loud mouth. And she gets up there and she literally says like, I don't want to fucking do this <laughs> yeah. shit. Yeah, this I is said, fucking bullshit. I, yeah. But yeah, she says what everyone's thinking. And you don't get that in the first movie because mm -hmm. everyone's afraid of the yeah. Capitol. And so you get this feeling of like, Oh, you're terrified for them. Like, I can't believe you're doing that. You're risking your fucking life. Yeah. Her yeah. intro as a character is oh. so uh, wild. Yeah. Oh, the yeah. elevator scene. She, okay. she steps into an elevator <laughs> and is complaining about her tree outfit because uh -huh. uh, she's from a, a wood mining town. Yeah. Yeah. Lumber. The, Lumber the, town. The, that's, what, is, that's what you call it. Lumber is what you call the, it. The, a the, wood miner. <laughs> 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 they also have water mining town. Yeah. yeah. Water mining, <laughs> air, air mining, air mining yeah. Yeah. space mining. Uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Um, and she strips naked, uh -huh. makes eye contact with PETA. And hey, Mitch. Which, hey, Mitch, we needed that. That was like They're really telling funny. of the times. So I was yeah. like, okay, we don't need this old man. Yeah. Making these eyes and being like. But Jennifer hey, Lawrence's nice, face Peter. where she's like, she's got this like sour, salty. Yeah, she's salty, just looking yeah. away. Black jawed, hey. like. She has a couple like mugging moments that like we can talk about later. But like yeah. some of her crying scenes were like. There's no way she wanted that take to be in the movie. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It's just There's like no you look you look pretty awful, yeah. unfortunately. Yeah. But fantastic performance. Uh, ah, yeah. dude. As uh, always. Really good. I really like, forgot like that she's a fucking Academy yeah, Award or winning actress. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and yeah, she yeah, somehow absolutely. made this that. And not a lot of actresses have done that, right? Like like even though Hermione Granger wasn't the lead, like Emma Watson doesn't necessarily like make that performance the most memorable. You don't get that from Divergent with Shailene Woodley. You get that from her. Like you yeah, get yeah. this, like that could have been Academy Award nominated if you ask me. If you ask Kelsey. <laughs> if yeah. you ask me, which you should. <laughs> We just filmed a video where we went around the city eating a bunch of tacos and honestly, being able to order food in someone's native language, it, it just opens up a world of conversation. It allows you to to try new foods and, and, and speak to people, uh, to get to know them while you're doing so. Rosetta Stone is the most trusted language learning program available on desktop or as an app and it truly immerses you in the language you want to learn. They have been the trusted expert for 30 years with millions of users and 25 languages offered. You got Spanish, French, Italian, German, Korean. Korean, Chinese, Japanese, Dutch, Arabic, Polish, and more. This is fast language acquisition. Rosetta Stone immerses you in many ways. No English translation, so you really learn to speak, listen, and think in that language. And it's an intuitive process. You pick up the language naturally, first with words, then phrases, then sentences. Don't put off learning that language. There's no better time than right now to get started. For a very limited time, our listeners can get Rosetta Stone's lifetime membership for 50% off. That's $149 for unlimited access to 25 language courses for the rest of your life. Redeem your 50% off at rosettastone.com slash guilty today. This episode is brought to you by BetterHelp. I have certainly had many times where I have felt adrift or not sure what's going to come next. It, it really gives me a lot of anxiety, especially when I was younger. I, I just didn't know, was I doing the right things? Which is why it is so helpful to have a therapist, someone to talk to, and why I love using BetterHelp. Whether you're dealing with decisions around your career, your relationships, or anything else, therapy helps you stay connected to what you really want while you navigate life. So you can move forward with confidence and excitement. I love how easy BetterHelp makes it to do therapy. I am with my schedule being all over the place. I feel like I was never able to make time for my therapist, right? But with BetterHelp, I can arrange it around my schedule. I can go for a nice walk, uh, do it from the comfort of my home, video chat my therapist, or just take a phone call. If you're thinking of starting therapy, give BetterHelp a try. It's entirely online, designed to be convenient, flexible, and suited to your schedule. Let therapy be your map with BetterHelp. Visit betterhelp.com slash guilty pleasures today to get 10% off your first month. That's BetterHelp, 
H-E-L-P dot com slash guilty pleasures. Um, speaking of that scene and how you're talking about things getting political, um, because I did just watch it like two hours ago. Hilarious. I was dying at the because I remembered the reveal of PETA being like, and you know, the wedding, we secretly got married because of the baby. The oh, baby. And then the he, did crowd. It. he did it in yeah. a fucking the baby. Yeah. The baby. The and baby. the crowd starts screaming, no, stop the game. Stop no. the game. So literally in the last Hunger Games, a 12-year-old was murdered. Right. Yeah. By it's the way, like, though, ain't that America? We no. that's yeah. protect. Like, I was like, what the hell? If that baby is unborn, you better fucking keep it in the yeah. bag. But once it is, put them in the game. Yeah. Put them in, in the, the games. games. Make them remember. Make protect them. the unborn, like, but 12-year-olds, yeah. you're game. on your yeah. own. Yeah. Pretty sure if a one year no what what is uh, how old do you have to be to to where you have to put your name in the game? Twelve, right? I think it was twelve. It's yeah. twelve. Yeah. Okay. I think, I think they yelled something about it at yeah. one point. Okay. When Peta announced that baby plan, I was Love like, it. "Ooh, Peta, you crazy fucking, for that one, boy? You crazy for this that one, G? Crazy. He showed up, and Josh Hutcherson, I think, overall just does a better performance in this one yeah. too, because yeah. like we give him shit for being in the first one of like all we can think about is the painted tree moment. That's yeah. all we all want to talk about. Yeah. Yeah. But his character matures a lot in this, yeah. and I think they because he's he, that was like you know his first big movie, and then yeah. this is another one. He's just yeah. like, all right, I think I have yeah. my chops about me now. And then we just go that. downhill with the CGI in the next two yeah. movies. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. While we're on the topic of PETA, I'm curious, you know, we got some real fans in this room. Yeah, I'm, I'm just tip, <laughs> dipping my toes into this franchise. I also kind of think PETA's a bitch. Oh, Why? well, I, okay, so like, it's, you think that both of the men are bitches because yeah. they are both being strung along by the most powerful woman you've ever witnessed. Wow. It's just like in the beginning, uh, he has this quote we, of like, nice acting. Almost thought that kiss was real. <laughs> yeah. She saved your fucking life. She's yeah. not in, you are not entitled to her love. <laughs> okay, he You're, does, he does apologize for that one afterwards. Yeah. He does go in and be like, okay, that yeah, was. I'm sorry. Uh, that was a little harsh. A little harsh. Yeah. yeah. Which I'm not a PETA defender. Yeah. I also yeah. think he can be a little bitch sometimes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But then. Jennifer Lawrence later in the movie, Katniss is like actually smoochy smoochy, and I'm like, okay, Katniss, yeah, you know what you got to make up. Her she's, yeah, line. she leads them on. She leads yeah. both of them on. You, she you are led to believe, decide. yeah, that she's like she can't decide, and it's yeah. like between two people. And I think because um, 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 um Gail is so much more attractive mm. than mm -hmm. uh, Peta, mm -hmm. you're like obviously this is what where they end up. This mm -hmm. is who she ends up with. Yeah. Um, but in the if you're reading it, you don't really know no. who to to decide yeah. who's the, the best. In the book, one. it was a little more like yeah, it was yeah. a little more shocking. Yeah. I think even just the name like, oh, Peta right, right, right. is like it's a li like if you're gonna be named after bread, be like fucking you know yeah. wheat, <laughs> <laughs> barley, something yeah. a little. I just remembered wheat a sounds like from a last time where we thought it was <laughs> a, a Boston accent. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. Oh, Peter. He's Peter. Peter. For the boss at <laughs> New England. Peter. Um, I also think Katniss like and Peter are too similar. Like, I was telling Miles before this, like, Katniss is, like, if you have that old, like, trolley problem, the, like, ethical mm -hmm. thing of, like, would you save one person? Or would you kill one person to save, like, 10, 20, 30, however many? Yeah, you Katniss and Peta are like absolutely not. I would let this whole fucking world burn yeah. if just you lived. Yeah. yeah. And I feel like Gail and like Hamish, Senna, literally every a Joanna, yeah. every other person is like, no, I think Save we could people. sacrifice one person so that yeah. everyone else can be free. Yeah. That as long as that one, one person guilt. isn't what was, Katniss. What was yeah. the Joanna um sacrifice? I for, I forget. Like, no, we're, she's saying that they would save the masses of people oh, over, oh, saving, over one saving one person. Saving one yeah, person. like yeah. Peter and Kat, that was the one guilt that I had was like they they want you to believe very deeply that they they are like trauma bonded, indebted to each other because she's like yeah. save him over me. I like that part where he's like I don't have anyone left. Like you have to be saved. You know, like I don't have. Yeah, it's like dog. You have a whole family. I know you well, hate I think your mom. His family was shittier in the book. They, yeah, were. they were. Like I think we were led to believe that his family like beat like, him. Or yeah, something. Really, really, really yeah. yeah. That he yeah. was kind of like deuces. I don't really care. Yeah, about but like he was th also that thick. was a little intense. He was. So he's he's a, supposed he was, to be like a little brick boy. Little thick boy. Like yeah. he can. Yeah. Thick he, daddy. His whole thing is he throws flour yeah. over Baked his shoulder. Yeah. Oh, we could have had. A little Peter with a dump truck ass. Yeah, that's yeah. Do we know Josh Hutcherson doesn't have one? What's well, up? we would know if he did. Yeah, maybe yeah. we didn't yeah. get enough. I guess his see. pants weren't fitted well enough yeah. in this one. We're this all on the suit. same page that Finnick 
boring as hell. Yeah, he's, oh, he's, yeah. He's a, he's okay. A, a young Sam Kaplan, 100%. Oh, he, electricity when he mm-hmm. enters this film. I was. Is that Finnick? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, that's yeah. That's I think that's the fir- first. The way Kelsey just yeah. smiled and yeah. bit her, bit her, bit her, bit her <laughs> so crazy. I didn't even realize I was so perfect. Uh... That's the first uh, butt shit. I was just like, oh, that's why people like. It. <laughs> we get uh, it. Yeah, 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 yeah. And the fact that he's in love with a woman. <gasps> well, you know uh, his story in the next movie. Like, yeah. spoiler alert: I hasn't read it or seen it. I haven't. So, the, so you know the girl that he thinks he hears Annie. That's who Max. Yeah. Like okay, the Jabber Jays. Yes. Yeah. So they're actually like in love, but mm-hmm. Finnick has literally been pimped out by the Capitol. Yeah. Like he's forced to bone all these women, yeah. and everyone thinks he's like a little slut. Yeah. He's supposed to be, but a man he's whore. like, but he's like sex trafficked. Yeah. And that's why he was like, oh, I don't dabble in trivial things like money. I dabble in secrets because <gasps> he knows all these like rich yeah. connected oh. people secrets. Yeah. And that's when he then ate the sugar cube. Yeah. yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Only the show. That's sugar cute. Like yeah. a little horsey. Yeah. Ooh, I don't care about his trauma. He's hot. Yeah. <laughs> but I, yeah, you I'm do. Little, you just, believe him as a villain too. I, I believe feel. him as a villain, yeah. and then I believe his turn. And I was disappointed mm-hmm. that he and Katniss didn't smooch. I literally never saw them. Smooching. Yeah, in the book, you don't want that. I wanted them no. to have a little bit of sexual he's, tension. He's, he's so in love with Anne. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I don't know that. Mm-hmm. I think that you introduce someone that fine. I want a little will they I don't. I have to think. validate you. Uh, you didn't read the books, and you've this is your first time. True. I have to validate your experience <laughs> seeing it. But I, yeah. Yeah. but I'm wrong. Yeah, yeah. yeah. but I'm wrong. It's okay. Old. Like, yeah, he won. To be like, he won the like, games. Yeah, like, like a while ten ago. years ago. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So he's supposed uh, to be a little older, yeah. more strapping, more like Idris Elba type age. Wow. Would have been cool. because like, mm. you got to remember that most of the times the people that win the Hunger Games were those careers. Mm-hmm. So everyone else, like Joanna, like Katniss, like they maybe did a reaping, yeah. but only their name was in it. Yeah, yeah. Right. I loved. Uh, we can talk about the supporting cast, but the scene where they kind of introduce, like, yeah. here's everyone who's won before, and yeah. you've got like <laughs> the mega dorks who, yeah, are, nuts and bolts. Uh, nuts and bolts. Uh, you've got the uh, the creepy siblings who ha- who oh, don't talk. So who you're weird. like, they definitely fuck each other. Yeah, yeah. same with the they're on, they're District on, um, one. They're on meth. They're on that drug or whatever. Yeah. Right? Oh yeah. yeah. I forgot. About that was that. a thing from uh, that uh-huh. was from the book, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. So wow, Garrett, good memory. They're like drugged out, yeah. and um, I don't think they were allowed to put that into the movie. <laughs> yeah. I buy that. Yeah. Um, you have uh, someone Razor who teeth. filed her teeth. Yeah, that so, girl so that she could hard. rip throats out. Yeah, so which hot. I'm sorry, ripping a throat out this with is, your mouth. Yeah. You get the flower district guy. You get the two that were strung out. Well, you get the the morphlings who really took over Peta's paint your fucking face and lay yeah. down yeah. strategy. Yeah. 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 That went out the window. Yeah, I did. I enjoyed seeing <laughs> that again. It was like RuPaul's like all stars. You get to see <laughs> the different <laughs> personalities and characters, and that was such a fun way to up the ante, right? Yeah. It wasn't yeah. everyone's here for the first time. Oh gosh, golly, this is all so new. It's like no, bitch, we've been here before. We got secrets you don't know. Mm-hmm. We know how it's gonna work, and yet they throw they throw the twist all together with yeah. this like. Clock Arena, which yeah. was a spoiler in the so book bad. that took fucking forever yes. yeah. for them to figure out they what had it to was. Keep going in the different, yes. yeah. and in the movie, she bitch is like tick tock, and she's like yeah. it's a clock, and I was like, oh my god, that was too easy. She was yeah. there for like two seconds, yeah, yeah literally, <laughs> and then immediately stabbed. She dead. Right. She, she died. She's she's immediately, I'm, yeah. I'm alive. I'm dead. Yeah. So yeah. they rise up uh, to it's the cornucopia, right? Yeah, yeah. Um, okay. Or no, cornucopia is where they pull from. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, yeah, the, the cornucopia, cornucopia is, is the, in the middle of the okay, arena. Yeah. So they, they rise up to begin. Uh, they rise up the and tubes. And shock! Did you gasp? They're on water. They're on water. Yeah. I still think that that's like the the the, the movie's greatest strength. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Is that that scene? The reveal. Even it's still, great. the reveal of yeah. what where they're going to be fighting at for de- to to death. Yeah. And mm-hmm. like. No music, none of it, and it's just like the shock and awe. Her eyes are adjusting, the camera's mm-hmm. adjusting to the She's light. She's getting over this it's, trauma. Getting of over Senna, the, of, of Senna being yeah. beaten in yeah. front of her. You want to up the ante yeah. in a sequel? Water. water, put them on yeah. water. water. The Avatar, but way of water. This yeah. shit. I mean, again, going to the the brilliance of Jennifer Lawrence's performance oh, when so. she is just like, I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. I'm traumatized. Fuck, fuck, fuck. Okay, I need she to fight can. people. It's just like, mm, just really, yeah. really gets insular and like yes. absorbs the situation and just like I gotta go I gotta fucking swim blah, and blah, blah. this time it's not just about brute strength it's yeah. about allyship it's yeah. brain yeah. smart and yeah. you're you know that each person's characteristics are going to play into them 
spoiler alert, surviving yeah. Yeah. this yeah. Hunger yeah. Games, which Although, I like. Be- is it Beetle? Beedy. 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 Beedy's character, they were like, he won his game by electrocuting six, six people, people at once. He doesn't know how to make a fire with a stick. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I thought he's that a tech too. guy. She showed him I that, and too. I was like, he's a tech bro. <laughs> yeah, he's I not that good too. with his hands that way. Like he's gotta yeah, know but he should, he should fire. know <laughs> that. I bought it. I was like, oh, he he has an iPad. He doesn't yeah. know how to do it with his hands. He doesn't yeah. go into nature. No, he's an inside boy. Yeah, you know, yeah. he's a sunscreen outside kind of guy. Yeah, yeah. I also liked how they dropped the um, force field hints yes. at the beginning. Yeah. And then you see later why that comes that into play. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, fun story. The first time <gasps> I did shrooms. <laughs> uh, uh, the first time I did this shrooms. This is a fun story. Um, I, I think I had read that book. I don't know. I was just fascinated with the idea of like the hexagons and all that stuff. Mm-hmm. And so um, the uh, sky above me turned into Whoa. that hexagon. Shape. Whoa. It was fucking crazy. Yeah, yeah. When Did that, you shoot an when arrow it, at it? I wanted right? to. When it I breaks to. That's open, all I, thought about it. I was um, like, this is the sickest fucking shot because it breaks open uh-huh. at the end. This is the big like, finale. Like, yeah. And you see the like cranes that were holding yes, it up. Start and to you're collapse. like, oh my Truman show. Like they yeah. really yeah. built this fucking world. Yeah. And it's daytime out. And yeah. you're just like so discombobulated. Yeah. And you're like, wait, who's good? Who's bad? Joanna just cut her wrist open. Uh-huh. Like, Finnick, is he good? Like, oh, well, there's a big spaceship coming to crane me up. I do love the claw that comes for people. We only see the claw once. And in the other, in the first movie, you don't see anyone get like removed. The claw is a thing in the book. The claw. claw. It's a really, I mean, I'll tell you as a first time watcher over here, like a very satisfying moment where it's, look, it's simplistic. You can see the pieces being put together. You you know, it's coming, but just the look of, of triumph on her face that she like holds, holds the lightning strikes. It hits this, this arrow that she's tied a wire to, mm-hmm. she lets it go. It it electrocutes the roof and brings everything down. Like it's, I, don't know, I was like, yeah, girl, get yeah, it. Because yeah, yeah. you're wondering how the fuck are they gonna end this? Yeah. Like, yeah. there's no way that everyone can die, and it's just her again, or it's right. just her and Peta again. Right. Yeah. And so it's so fucking satisfying to see them like literally blow the roof off this yeah. place. And then I don't remember if this is in the movie or I might have I might have been like not looking at it, but. Um, what the the hints about District Thirteen? Mm. Oh yeah, they talk um, about it at the end. They talk about it then. They just say we're going to District Thirteen. Right, right, and right. She's like thirteen. Yeah, twelve is no more. <laughs> so like, there was a video about the destruction of um of District Thirteen mm-hmm. that they kept showing, and it's something off. See, like something seemed off about the video that was um that was played or whatever. Like it was looped or something. And so a lot of people are like speculating in the, in the uh, book, the like the yeah. mythos of the book, mm-hmm. that District 13 was still around, but nobody was like talking it was about off-grid. it. They were the yeah. underground the district. Underground district. It was it was really yeah. fun to read. It was, yeah. it's, it's, I think that everybody should read that book. <laughs> yeah. I, I you know you're talking about the games and something that only occurred to me this time. I can't imagine it'd be fun to watch as a fan of this sport. Mm. <laughs> like if I wanted to watch people kill oh, each yeah. other. Oh yeah. What? Yeah. Good games. I don't know. I feel like I want I them in like a, a. It's a game. People. Mu- game I know, but them. how much time is spent with them just like hiding? No, but that's why they they can manipulate mm-hmm. it because when something's not happening, they'll force interactions. They'll force them to do stuff. This is an important question mm-hmm. that I have for you. So in this, in the first movie, there are dogs. Yeah. Mm-hmm. In this movie, there are baboons. <laughs> They're monkeys. Yeah. The monkeys. Baboons They're come big. and and attack them. Yeah. Are, do the baboons have the eyes of children who have died like in the first movie? Oh, I no. don't remember. Damn. It's just yeah. the wolves. Yeah. Damn. Yeah. Well, the wolves sick. were supposed to walk on their hind legs. Yeah. They were supposed yeah. to be like That's scary zombie crazy. wolves. Yeah. That shot where she's yeah. underwater and that boob baboons biting at her face like oh my god I was so scared of the a monkey the baboons really threw me yeah. I forgot about the baboons and then when they showed up I was like baboons yeah. <laughs> I will say when I was reading the book I was like how I remember reading thinking like the quarters of the clock were like kind of lame like I remember being like ooh spicy acid smoke that like <laughs> makes boils like that doesn't sound very crazy and then I was like oh they're stuck hearing the voices of their loved ones like what so that's not that bad yeah like I thought they were gonna be more intense I was like monkeys like that but it can't was, be it was the voices of their, their loved, loved ones, ones who in pain. actually yeah. right and yeah. I, d- I remember thinking like oh this might not be as violent as the first one but it was just it was the mind trickery yeah. was even yeah more it was intense. like more psychological there is a delight that <laughs> so I can't explain it's exactly. it's a serotonin drip of that's 
uniquely a modern experience when you see a moment that's been memed finally in context yeah. and what the, was it? the what gif it? Of, of Jennifer Lawrence running from the Jabber Jays and smashing against the invisible oh. wall. Oh, yeah. I've seen that gif for years yeah. and it's always, it's so funny to me. I don't know the context and then I see it and I go, oh, Oh, oh it <laughs> and it's dark, yeah. and she's getting yeah. tormented. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. but I, f- I feel like um, yeah. in Once Upon a Time in the West, that shot of Leo pointing at the screen. <laughs> it was very. I was. I, mean, I went. Yeah. I know this oh, one. Thing. And then yeah. no one was in the room, and I went, "Okay." <laughs> yeah. And I went, Maggie, and she's like, "What?" And I'm, Never mind. <laughs> <laughs> the one Jennifer Lawrence acting performance I did not like in this movie, where I was like, "There's no way she wanted them to use this take," <laughs> is after Peta is randomly electrocuted. He, you know, slashes. Is a the wire? Force field. Um, the force field. The force field. Force field, yeah. yeah. Um, which electrocutes him more than when people run into it. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> His heart stops. Uh-huh. Yeah. And then he wakes, and she's like, her mouth is going like all the way to her ear, directions. all all over the place. She's like a clown. Yeah, a sad it's like clown. she had no control over the lower half of her face. And then she kisses Peta, and there's the the, the string spit. of spit. Oh, yeah. Talk string. about it. Oh. And then she's still doing the same. <laughs> and I'm just like, I can't watch this. That's also, real. when they jump into the water after the boils, I was like, this scene is going on way too long. Yeah. They're like, and they're like, moaning. Uh. Yeah, and I was it like, was, okay, sounded Ma- very Mags sexual. is dead. Mags yeah. literally yeah. walked into the fire. No, she but, or the poison. Why did she do that? Because she felt guilty. She didn't want um, Finnick to have to carry her because he had to carry. Here's the thing, though, that they should have stopped the smoke after she walked in. Like, the smoke wouldn't stop until it took a victim. Oh, until it claimed someone. But I think what my lover also questioned was, like, wait, why did she – she didn't have to do that. Yeah. She could have just, like, slowly walked walked the other direction. At least, like, let it take her. Don't force her. Maybe she didn't want them to see her die. They did it right in front of her. You mentioned that moment, the the PETA – uh, death fake out. Yeah, that's the second in fifteen in ten minutes. Mm-hmm. Yeah, he almost. They think that he's died in the water, and she goes, "Peta, oh, you're uh-huh. fine." Yeah. And then ten minutes later, yeah. he gets Peta! Over, Peta, oh, you're fine. And I'm like, how many times is Josh Hutcherson gonna almost die? Well, he's have not you very seen the next self reliant. <laughs> yeah. Well, because the capital has the him capital now. gets him. Yeah. So he's brainwashed, Peta. Peta yeah. You dumb bitch. He's Brainwashed? Yeah, oh, yeah that's what happens in the next movie. Yeah. What? They sting him with Tracker Jacker venom, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah. What are you talking about? Like, brainwashed. And what mm-hmm. is this? Does he fight? He red pills. Katniss? He old. Shut up. Zachary, <laughs> you have no idea. The, I will watch. say I don't. Uh, the last two movies are not my favorite. I do not oh, think I they're very the good. The first two are my favorite. The CGI on Josh Hutcherson face just like scares me. What did they CGI his face? Well, they he's starving and he can't actually starve in real life. Shut it's just bad up. makeup. Why yeah. did they do that? Why? Yeah. You don't Didn't they do something to Philip Seymour Hoffman's face? Too? Oh my God. So. Thank you. He, he, we we paused it earlier. Let's talk about him. Um, oh my God. Philip Seymour Hoffman, one of the greatest, greatest actors yeah. to yeah. ever live. Yeah. May he said, rest in peace. I'll take a paycheck. Yeah, he absolutely. Said, Let me put me in this. Why not? Absolutely. Why Let not? me. Why not? Like, Philip Seymour Hoffman lifting his baby toe is giving a better <laughs> performance than yeah. most actors in uh-huh. this movie, which is like, you know, it, it is what it is. He's just phenomenal. There's not a real reason for an actor of that caliber to be in this movie. Other than Mike. No, it, but you have doesn't to demand that he, I, I like to think that he saw or read the book and was like, this has fucking potential. To yeah. I like this. If they do it right, then it can be I, fucking big. I, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to guess on some fun facts is that they went out to him for this role and he kept on saying no mm. and then they they kept rising the price and he was like alright whatever <laughs> I'm gonna guess like, that they sure. went out to him and they were, and he said yes and they were like what really <laughs> oh my god we were saying we want a Philip Seymour Hoffman type I, I didn't yeah. think we would get the real guy yeah you don't need the type I'll do it baby yeah. Yeah. but like to hear that he was a double agent like I remember yeah. that reveal so being, being such a big deal like so oh my god yeah. the main guy that's supposed to be the bad guy yeah he's been working with them the whole time yeah, like yeah. when he was on the, he's on the helicopter, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. So that was, that movie. was a huge, that was a huge reveal. Yeah, the, huge. The, His introduction was, um, I don't mean to rag on it, but so poorly shot where <laughs> they're at this, this ball uh-huh. and he walks up and he's just standing on the edge of frame silently and they didn't write him an introduction line. So you're like, this actor with this crazy <laughs> gravitas has entered this scene. What's he going to say? He says nothing. Yeah. And I want you to watch that scene back. It's just this man like waiting for something to do. <laughs> and then the next scene starts and he does a dance with Katniss. Yeah. Mm. It really made me laugh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, I mean, in that ball scene, 
uh, the uh, bulimia pills or the anorexia yeah. pills. Yeah. Um, they like that sticks out in my mind. Yeah. From the uh, yeah, they have a little a little vom so they can keep yeah, eating. So they yeah. can keep eating. I was like, oh, this is the type of like, like yeah. late stage capitalism yeah. decadence that um they, they nailed were commenting it. They on. really just yeah. did. Like yeah. I think back on so many post apocalyptic movies yep. where mm-hmm. I'm just like. I didn't really believe it yep. in terms of yeah. like the way that they were able to take back control of the world. And mm-hmm. like for some reason, I don't know if it's because, just because in this world there aren't as many people left. Yeah. I but think it it's worked. Like, <laughs> I think it's I mean, speaking to the brutality of the capital, it starts off on the premise of we are about to sacrifice your children. Oof. And and then it just builds from there. It's just like we don't really need to be as terrible as you think. We're going to smile at you while we watch your children get Oof. murdered. Yeah. And while we do plastic surgery so we could look like tigers yeah. and lions yeah. Yeah. and yeah. animals. They but do my plastic God, surgery outfits. to look like furries. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This is a furry society. Yeah. yeah you find exactly. out it's like you kind of see them if you look in like the wide shots of yeah. like people but you meet like a really important one who you get to see their beginnings in the prequel that's coming out in the movies okay real question because you said you don't like the other two as much do we think we're gonna do the full we franchise better. or do you spoil everything no i'm right gonna now? watch it tonight no i want to see what you think of the okay. of the end you i'm gotta, dying you to see know the war crime. this is like twilight we up the war crime like, you gotta see yeah. it that's the war point. crime is you gotta crazy. see why gail can't be forgiven yeah, yeah. but it's it's crazy because i the, my appeal to this franchise, like you said, it's the joy of getting to watch another games. Like I mm-hmm. want to watch the Hunger you Games. Think. You think I want the revolution? Because I don't know that I care about the revolution. You mm. so give a fuck about the revolution. Okay. Because yeah. then yeah. now they it's burned basically her home like, down. Yeah, yeah, it's basically the Hunger Games IRL. Yeah. Oh. It starts to become really like. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Like counterintelligence. Yeah. Like the look propaganda on, going yeah. out. The look on her face, Jennifer Lawrence, Katniss at the very end, she's laying on this med table. Ooh. She finds out there is no District 12. Mm-hmm. They've burned it down. Your home is gone. And the final frame of the movie is just her face going. Mm. <laughs> oh, why I oughta. Uh, oh, why oh, I no, oughta. they did yeah. it. You can take my sister. You can take yeah. my best friend, but you can't take my 12. Don't take my sister. You can take my Pete away, but you can't take my home. Can't take <laughs> yeah, my she's New coming England. back pissed. Yeah, yeah she's very yeah. angry. In the Which she has every right to be. Reasonably angry. Yeah. 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 The, the one only, guilt I had of this one. Sorry, did you have another thing? To add? Yeah, I was gonna say the only thing that would have made that shot better is like a, a, a close up of her fist. The one guilt I had of this movie, and it's not the writing, so it's nobody's I can't fault. Believe you even I know, I know, but I, we have to give one. We can't just blow this cock the whole time. Well, the technology <laughs> in this <laughs> this future time, I couldn't help but be like, it's very mixed up. So they have surveillance of the entire town, but yet they only have like pick and choosy moments of like what surveillance they get to see and want to see. It's like 4K up close camera footage of like whatever, whenever, wherever Shakira said. We're meant to be together. And Do you mean in the games or like when they're no, out in the streets? No, when district. they're out in the streets. Well, it's just like the same security we have here. Yeah, like but when like you're on the street. How were street they able to plan an entire revolution? Oh, the other people. Yeah. Not and then, the like, my capital. other thing was the device that they're showing it on is like a see through television. Oh, yeah. And I just remember being like, I don't think that's what we wanted <laughs> in the future. I don't think we wanted a transparent television. It worked for Star Wars. No it can one had, work for Hunger Yeah. Games. Like, it just, it, 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 the one thing that irked you me was like, You don't think we wanted holograms? Tr- it wasn't a hologram, it was a transparent TV. Yeah. It was like a, I think it's a hologram. I thought we'd call it a hologram. Mm. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. What do you think a hologram is? <laughs> Tupac on stage yeah. at Coachella. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. He was kind of see through. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. It's light. Right. I'll tell you that I was there for Tupac hologram. You I was were? on a lot of drugs and I was, there was a rumor the whole weekend that that was happening. Whoa. And then it happened and I went, oh my God, the rumor was wrong. He's actually alive. Oh Stop my God. it. It was so unbelievably convincing yeah. that I, like, and I've watched footage back and it didn't. No, when yeah. you were there, it was like, wow, this yeah. is so real. Wow. <laughs> and they haven't used that technology since. And honestly, it's probably a good thing. Yeah, I think probably. they, um, they don't bleak. want to do it for, for dead people. Yeah, yeah. I think the um, Tupac family got like very mad, they got very, but they upset got very about upset about that. Um, and Snoop Dogg like uh, improvised with him. 
he like had stage banner where he would like say a line and then Tupac would be like, ha ha, back. And then they would both together in unison be like, smoke weed every day. Jesus. <laughs> oh my God. See, this is why we need like AI for like medical advancements. Yeah. 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 And Don't nothing else. Like away from entertainment. Yeah. It yeah. makes it so Capitalism. weird. You need people for that. Yeah, you need people for that. Help people cure cancer. Yeah. Like what, what's going on? Make, make planes not crash. Yeah, yeah. I would you know, love that. It's 2023. A plane shouldn't crash. We yeah. love that. I, ever. 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 Unless it's the beginning of an acclaimed drama series. Yeah. And then yeah. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. Or another drama series that's not acclaimed yet. <laughs> but I don't know if it ever will be. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, it's are Yellow Jackets. Yeah. Yellow what are you talking about? Oh, Yellow Jackets. Yellow, Yellow Jackets Jack and Lost. <laughs> I haven't seen the finale yet. Don't tell me. Outfits. <gasps> Outfit uh, check. Thank you, Outfits. God. The outfits were fire. Uh, outfits Effie were fire. with her Literally. little Shakespeare collar sleeves. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, my God. What about her butterfly fit? Which one was that? The where she's entirely oh, yeah. she's covered in butterflies. I okay, I go off, Effie. Kelsey. Just how you, you about take the, lead. the wedding dress? The wedding dress is great. Yeah. She's giving body yachty <laughs> with a tool. Uh, poof, low. I thought I enjoyed my wedding until I saw this dress and I realized that I could have been you wearing that. Shit. Yeah, 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 with a been. diamond encrusted, uh-huh. almost yeah. like looks like it was made out of hot glue, like yeah. shield with diamonds down the forehead, down mm-hmm. the center part. It's the diamonds in her ears. I diamonds in her ears. There were diamonds. Yeah. Euphoria could never. <laughs> yeah. Euphoria could never. You know and who it could? Was incredible. Young Thug. Have you seen the cover? <laughs> oh. The the cover of Jeffrey, the dress that he wore in that. Oh. It's oh. in um the Boston Arts Museum, oh. I believe, because I of how fucking up. fire it was. Um, I don't know where okay. it resides, but it is in a museum. Um, oh my god! Yes. Oh wow! Wait, turn this around for Becky. Let me see. Let me see. Oh yeah, that it, this that is, is what Katniss. Katniss's outfit. Yeah, at. Well, um, it is in the Museum of Fine Arts in Boston. <gasps> wow. Yeah. How do we feel as a as a group about? I think we talked about this last time too, but uh, her ability to uh, turn outfits into fire. Uh, that's uh, Senna's yeah, uh, that's whole Senna. thing. Yeah. I know, but do we think it's cool or goofy? Yeah, I think it's cool. cool. Why do you think it's called Catching Fire? I think it's a little goofy. She I mean, fire. the revolution is Catching You're kind Fire. Of that's what it is. Hearing. But I, I, I thought you it was don't a like bit the fire. Her, his, his whole like thing about it, it was like she's the girl on fire. Yeah. That's like girl his bit with it. Get a new but, you, bit. but then you know that she's going to catch on fire every time is what I think Zachary's trying to say. Yeah. Uh, but it's not about the catching on fire. It's about the look that happens after the fire is like. I'm into that. So that's how she more about the reveal. Yeah. It's less about the fire. Fire. Fire yeah. transition. I would have liked if she leaned a little more into uh, drag queen outfit reveals where it like flips over and then she like takes her wig off and there's confetti underneath. <laughs> I think that they yeah. could bring more How pageantry. Much drag race do you watch? Not much. <laughs> so much. One, That's one. like one specific person's <laughs> bit. Like, uh. <laughs> no, I hear you. But like okay. when the when those Mockingjay wings came out in front of the crowd, I mm. screamed and stood up. It was like 9.30 in the morning. Yeah, I was, like, I, <laughs> I was um, so nervous yeah. for, again, anybody that puts up the symbol, I'm like, you're about to die. Yeah. Um, and anybody that shows an act of rebellion, I'm like, you're about to get fucked up or something like that. And spoiler alert. They do. Um, they do. And yeah. I would have, but there is, but like I, I thought about the same thing because I remember being like when I first saw it, the one of the very early scenes where President Snow meets Katniss, and I'm not sure that it, I don't remember if it happens in the book at that moment, but I remember when they meet and President Snow's like Katniss, there's an uprising and I need you to kissy kissy smoochy smoochy better for and she keeps it a secret for like two seconds, yeah, and I remember being like, why wouldn't he just kill her? Right then and there, because she, she becomes a, she becomes a martyr. Mm-hmm. Because that's when I recalled, like she's has she has that privilege of being able. If anything happens to her, yeah, mm-hmm. people are gonna fucking lose their shit. Yeah, yeah. but yeah. I also was like, you don't think the Capitol's like big enough to just fake something that yeah. happened to her? You know, yeah, but I mean? someone I I believe it. If someone dies, they become a symbol. They become a martyr. What the plan that Philip Seymour Hoffman tries to fake him into is like put her in the games and let people turn against her. Oh. Yeah. Let her kill, let her kill everybody that they love. Oh, in, that's in why they, they were trying it. to prove okay. that she is only Bad there. Person. She only did it to save herself, uh, yeah. not to be a martyr or a, a symbol. And so if you see her kill all these people, you're just like, oh, she was just trying to win the games. She is the one of us but who takes part. then she has part. that baby, so then but you're rooting for it's all. It's very complicated. Talking about the, the President Snow, there is this whole tense scene between the two of them. And you're reading through, and this is about like the last couple pages of the chapter. Um, President Snow is like, 
with your love with PETA, you need to, you don't have to convince everybody. You just need to convince me because uh, obviously he's saying like a threat. If you don't do this, I am going to kill everybody that yeah. you love, blah, blah, blah. He has this flower on his jacket, like on, like, as, like as a pendant. Like as it, a perfume that he can smell. Perfume too. that that is is coming through the entire room. And he's like, and she's like, the, throughout the conversation, smelling it. Like, I don't she's know like, what, what that, smell that smell is, but it's very familiar. familiar. I don't know what it is. And then he gives her the flower. He walks out and she's like, oh, I know what it's what it is. It's blood. And then so he his puts next blood chapter. on his roses. Yeah. The blood he flower? It. He dips it. He dips it. The fuck? Why does he do that? Because he's, he's a psycho. White he's a roses psychopath. are like everywhere with him. Yeah. 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 He's a psycho. So what am I supposed to take from that? Because I think that I'm he's, a, he's, I mean, he's, he's as crazy. nice as he, he seems, hungry. he has yeah. blood on his hands. Yeah. Because yeah. isn't the rest of the book, she, he smells so like sickly sweet of rose. Yeah. yeah. Like that, like. People yeah. that aren't used to the capital are like nauseated yeah, by right. his presence. Like yeah. you can smell him coming in a room. Mm. Ew. Yeah. Smelly old man. Yeah. Smelly old man. Who's that actor? Because who he's Donald scary. Sutherland. That's right. Yeah. He's scary. The classic yeah. actor. Yeah. Oh, my favorite moment of President <laughs> Snow is he's uh, uh, eating breakfast with his granddaughter. And he's like, I like your hairstyle, sweetie. Mm -hmm. And she goes, wearing it like thanks. That. All the girls at school are wearing it. And he looks and he realizes, oh, fuck. It's Katniss, Katniss is catching mm -hmm. on. Yeah. Everybody wants to be her. Everybody loves her. And like, it's just a good little subtle moment. And you see this like turn in his face. And I was like, oh, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And she later says, like, I want to love like that one day. Talking about her uh -huh. and Peta. And you're like, fuck, I've given them the perfect yeah. role model. Which, have you read the prequel? Did you read no, that? No. Oh. I didn't read it either, but I don't like being left out of things. So I Googled the plot before the movie comes out. <laughs> mm -hmm. I got to read it. crazy. Guys, I got it. I got it. I'm, I'm gonna, gonna, I'm gonna, gonna read, read it. it. I think you guys let's really do book good. club. Yeah. Book club. Wait, I'm gonna send a text right I'm now. I'm gonna read it. It looks yeah. really, really good, and I'm really hoping for the sake of our sweet little Ricky. Rachel Zegler that no man in that movie does something to disrupt the PR for that film. <laughs> She's o for two. So She's far. o for two. She cannot star in a movie without a man doing something. What, to ruin what happened it. with the other two? West Side Ansel Story. Ansel, mm. Ansel Elgort, mm -hmm. and then Shazam. Like two weeks before the movie comes out. Yeah. What's his name? Let her, Zach let her, let her Levi. Cook. Well, she's Zach still Levy. doing fine. <gasps> she is, but she's her moment. <sighs> yeah. This, she's her this, moment. And this is going to be yeah. She's an angel. I, Third I time's do, a charm, Rachel. She's an angel. We I got you, Rachel. Hate that. Did she, is she the one that said we did the thing? Or no? Um, no, no, no. You're uh, thinking of... Angela Bassett yeah, yeah, did yeah, the thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, no. The, the Ballad of that's... Songbirds and Snakes. Yeah, yeah, I heard uh, West Side Story, so I immediately thought of that. Yeah. That's yeah, what's yeah. pulling. It has a yeah, gravitational no, no, no. pull that moment. <laughs> but I was um, 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 thinking a lot of people were shitting on, not shitting on her, but like um, talking about her for doing the bow that Katniss does. Yeah. And I was like, oh, that, I, it was actually like a nice little ode yeah. to it. It was like, I don't understand why you would be mad at this moment. Yeah, there's the also there, there should be a lot of nods. It's a yeah. prequel. It's a prequel. That's the whole point of a prequel. Wait, now I'm excited. Yeah. I got a whole All bunch right. of lore to get unloaded. It's like if if it's one thing, it's lore. They yeah. I fucking love lore and this this franchise is just so etched in lore. It's fantastic. Yeah, they do really good world building. Yeah, really, yeah. Really, really good, really world, good building. world building. Yeah. I just want to you want to go back to Pen M. Uh -huh. You don't want to go Pen back M. to that. Pen M now. Panem tomorrow, Panem forever. It, She's saying that as that, people are yeah. getting like beat. Does that remind you of the Pan Air uh, logo? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay, okay. Pan okay, Am. Cool. Yeah, it's very dark. Yeah. Y'all ready for some fun facts? Yeah. Fun facts with Zach. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Pra, pra. So we've got Jenna Malone from oh. of Dying Darko fame. As saved. Joke, saved. Oh, she's so good. Such saved. a good movie. Saved. Uh, saved. We have to do that I one. I love that movie. Why so good. Uh, that she is Joanna Mason, but we had a huge fan of the book, one Kristen Bell. Oh. She tried to, she, oh. she actively sought out that role. Dang. Mm. Huh. Damn. I wouldn't have liked that. No, I like. I like. No, 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 no. Oh, sorry. Huge Joanna's, fan of the book. She's so crazy. Philip Seymour Hoffman. No, yeah, <laughs> I bet. As it was hoping. That's what he auditioned for. Yeah. <laughs> okay, we got more about Jenna Malone. Her stripping scene was filmed in a real hotel glass elevator that was not closed for production, and guests oh. could see in. I'm reading this in real time. Oh no! Even though her nudity wasn't shown on screen, she did actually strip naked in front of Woody Harrelson, Josh Hutcherson, Jennifer. What? 
That seemed, this is why we need intimacy coordinators. Yeah. Yeah. Although she was surprised the scene wasn't being shot in a studio soundstage, she went with the flow. <laughs> Oh, that's a PR cover Wait, is it, Okay, yeah. is this real? Is this a real fun fact? That's not like Wikipedia. Now. What's yeah. We get all of our facts from IMDb, and we do okay. not vet them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Don't Google it. In the elevator, a, pre, a PA pressed the wrong floor button. <gasps> elevator stopped on the wrong floor no! and opened up to a random guy, hotel guest, who, this is How? quote, got a nice eyeful of topless Malone. How no. are you not on a closed fucking no. set? This is the biggest with franchise three in the of world. The biggest celebrities from the yeah. biggest Close the whole hotel. What the heck? How is that possible? Yeah. No. That seems like like some Hollywooded like college film students who are just like, yeah, run in the elevator yeah, real quick. Go, we'll go, grab go. this scene. Like what? Yeah. That's not how movies work. No. You guys no. actually don't know this. this is the next fun fact that The Hunger Games is the most successful student film franchise <laughs> of all time. <laughs> wow. Okay, our boy Finnick, our boy Finnick ate two or three sugar cubes for each take of his introduction oh. until the scene was completed. He ate an entire box of cubes. Oh god, he must have slept well that night. That's dedication. Or vomited. Yeah, yeah he yeah. vomited for sure. I just wanted to talk more about Finnick. He fawned as hell. So you guys like no part of you wants him to give Katniss? No. no. Really? He's we old. know him too. We know yeah. his love story. We know his too love well. story. Yeah. His love story with Annie is like better than Gail and Yeah, Pita that's like being like, you don't want Becky to get yeah. with Zach just a little bit, and you're like, no. <laughs> Zaggy forever. Okay, don't make that face. I'm horrified. Don't make that face. <laughs> That's how we feel when you say that. I get that like, I'm not six feet, but come we're on. Like, yeah. They don't belong no, together. No, it's wrong, Zach. Yeah. It's Do you wrong. Know, it's wrong. <laughs> Do you know, by the way, that Josh Hutcherson is a short king? Yeah. Yes. Mm. Okay. Cool. Obviously. <laughs> you know who's not a short king? Liam Hemsworth. Oh. <laughs> Tall King Spring. <laughs> so Ed Sheeran. <laughs> Uh, Ed Sheeran submitted three songs to the film soundtrack. They were all turned down. Damn, who's ahead of Ed, time? Ed Sheeran is gotta be the most disrespected <laughs> yeah. genius. He's gotta be of all shit. I he's think you're a, right. He's a genius he's level a genius. Uh, yeah. songwriter, and I don't respect and him. Nobody <laughs> respects nobody. him. It's I so don't. fucked up. He probably the radio has every regular time. fucking life. Uh -huh. Oh you know my god, mean? he made a fucking a, a, a lifetime long wedding song. There's a. I think it's an episode of every wedding. It might be. Yeah. Practical Jokers, I can't remember, but they're like, um, they they get Ed Sheeran, the real Ed Sheeran, and they they put they get like a guy that goes on you know like Hollywood Boulevard and is like, hey, I got Ed Sheeran in here. He'll sing you a private song, like only a dollar, only five bucks, and they can't get anyone for an hour to donate five. No one comes in. And they're all like, yeah, okay, sure. And they're like, all right, a dollar. Anyone a dollar? I'll give you a fucking dollar. Then they're like, for free. Anyone can come in for free to see Ed Sheeran sing a song. And everyone's like, no way. Of course, the people finally they start going in and yeah. they realize it's him. But I'm just like that. Has got to hurt that like, but it doesn't because it's just like okay, this is a creep on the corner. <laughs> yeah. This being like, come but in no this one box. cares enough to just see for free. You have yeah, you do have to do just like a to big, see. No, you know, no, no, it's no, like no. um, did you see it was Macklemore and Ryan Lewis? Ryan Lewis was on some late night show and they took him around and asked people if oh, they knew. knew who Ryan. Oh, then they made Ryan Lewis ask people if they knew. Or liked mm. Ryan Lewis because nobody yeah. knows what the fuck he looks like. That's yeah. true. I have no idea. I still don't remember what he looks like. Look him up right now. I just know he's gonna pop some tags. Yeah. He's gonna pop some tags. Ryan got twenty dollars in his pocket. Yeah, that's we should maybe do an episode that. about Ed Sheeran to really get down to the bottom of if I would hot. love to. Yeah, he's he's a good. Looking You're talking guy. about Ryan he looks Lewis, like not Ed Sheeran. Chain smoker boys. Yeah, yeah, he looks like a chain smoker. Yeah. Yeah, we do need to get to the bottom of the disrespect of Ed Sheeran. Yeah, I I saw a a story. Who is it from? What's the fucking guy who's in Dave who is makes uh, a lot of TikToks about Charlie Puth? Fancino? No. Oh, Benny Blanco. Yeah. I saw a Benny Blanco TikTok where he talked about making a song with Ed Sheeran and Ed Sheeran's like, okay, hold on one second. He goes on stage 20 seconds later, performs a concert, performs a whole ass concert, then comes back and goes, okay, I think I know the hook for the song. Because he's that good yeah. that he is able to perform a concert yeah. where he's like, I don't know if you guys know this too. He's like looping. It's like yeah. just him, like yeah. looping sounds and creating yeah. soundscapes. And while he is doing that, he's writing a new song in his head. Well, I also think like, I think it was Mumford and Sons or Lumineers does the song for the next movie. And it's like, Oh, this makes sense. Yeah, yeah. like it's a folksy. You know, and Sheeran is, is folk, not folksy. Yeah, it is a folk. It's a folksy um, kind of thing. Yeah, he wishes he was folksy. You're talking about miners. They're talking about people yeah. who are woodsmen, like all of miners that. and miners and mi mm. miners and miners, <laughs> miners who are miners. 
Yeah. Great. Mining miners. Mining yeah. miners. Mining um, miners. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So like it, it's it's definitely a folk thing. Like if yeah. Billie Eilish was out by this time, oh, oh she yeah. would have fucking ripped this oh, shit up. Oh yeah, a hundred percent. Christ. A hundred percent. It's the hunger. Do, do, do. Okay. Um when Peter gets down on one knee to propose. Josh Hutcherson's pants ripped, causing uh, a huge laugh on set. Oh. You proposed in this one? Yeah. It's, they just show a little oh, tiny clip right. of it. Right. Gang, right. now right. we need right. to decide, is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? Have you ever had your pants rip on set in front of people? That happened to me once. <gasps> Okay. It's very embarrassing. Yeah. My yeah. whole ass was out. I was yeah. wearing a thong. You really just got to feel the wind. That's yeah. all it is. It's in just a like corporate there's a environment. draft somewhere. Yeah. And then you look down and it was like pants. a bunch of, it it's was like me. a crew I'm and cast draft. I didn't know you too. I was like guesting on a thing and I was like, oh my God, my whole, like my whole asshole is out. <laughs> Which for me, you'd think I wouldn't care. But. It's hard for me to imagine you being embarrassed, I, honestly. It's <laughs> rare, but I think it was just more like I didn't, I wasn't, this wasn't my thing and it mm-hmm. happened. And yeah. I was like, yes, Oops. oh gosh, I, how does a regular person When did person I get act? all of this attention? <laughs> yeah, oh, I hate attention. Oh, oh no. <laughs> Gary can present me and always give I me do his like hair bob. bob. Makes me so happy. <laughs> Ooh, actually, before we move on to our next segment, we uh, forgot to do this last time. We'd like to give a very special shout out to one of our most important listeners of this show, Kim. Hello, Kim. Becky's mother. Uh, What? uh, (laughs) I forgot she listens to all the pods. Including Kelsey's. She tells me all the things she learns. And the first time she ever met Garrick, she goes, oh. You're just as handsome as you look on TV. Yeah. She yeah. watches yeah. Single Drunk Female. Yeah. She watches everything. That Aww. made that made me all feel of good. it. I was I, I cannot. Um, I, I, I never want that. That made me feel fantastic. A five so three, cute. fully was like, silver haired woman. Fan girling. Hugged her even tighter. Oh, oh, protect God, Kim at all costs. So Ooh, and you're strong. Yeah. <laughs> and she listens perfect person. That's she right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. she's a real sweetie. All of that. Real fan. She must be busy. She's retired. Oh, okay. <laughs> she does say that no one else can like none of us are allowed to like do any more things. She's like, that's enough. Yeah, okay. you guys that's are all done. I can I yeah. can only consume no more so much. Yeah, I, yeah. yeah. my Fair goodness. Enough. Yeah, I can't even imagine. <laughs> now it's time for us to decide: is this movie a pleasure, a guilty pleasure, or just plain guilty? Um, it's a pleasure. <laughs> it's a pleasure. Yeah, we, I was waiting for you to it's say it. Duh. 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 Yeah. It's so good. Nate, the, the the guilt with this movie is that it wasn't long enough. I do think I would have loved to see two and a half longer. hours. Give it to me. Yeah, and they. I mean, they split the last book up into two movies, which was unnecessary. This one I would have watched mm-hmm. two movies for the one book. Yeah, Favorite. you know what I mean. But yeah, it's a pleasure. It's so good. The acting was great. All star cast mm-hmm. set up what's happening in the next movies mm-hmm. very well. Great gave cliffhanger. Us, great cliffhanger gave us a good exit to never seeing another Hunger. You know, spoiler <sighs> alert: there's no more Hunger Games on the Hunger Games. The Hunger Games just becomes real life. That's just why now they had to go to prequel. They're like, we miss this shit. Yeah, they Bring it back. Like, they were like, it. show us how we train yeah. people to do this. <laughs> Which might- is going to be fun. Guess what? I'm fucking hyped. Uh-huh. Yeah. I already started our book, book club text thread. Club. I'm, in. I'm in. I know that this is like wrong for how to structure the movie, but I wished that they had gotten... That was one thing that I was wanting. I wanted them to get to the game sooner because I love mm. being in the game yeah. so much. Mm-hmm. But if like, there was too it's, much it's, game... It would have been wrong. Uh-huh. It's the same place yeah. as the first one mid yeah. point, midpoint yeah, yeah. hunger games on it is the yeah. correct way to do it yeah but, but yeah i get it but i you knew it was it. coming so yeah. i'm like get me there come on yeah. i thought there. they did a good job though of filling yeah the first act of like oh, yeah. new yeah. information new characters cool. you're like oh yeah. shit i was soaking it up i do think though if you um hadn't read the books i still mm-hmm. think you would have known that philip seymour hoffman was trying to help yes. katniss yes <laughs> i did during, during yeah. the dance during, during the, the dance you're like okay you're obviously like trying you. to give well, a hint I to thought something. it was like Is meant it? to be obvious and then I was like oh maybe he is it's confusing because now they seem like they're trying to make him a bad guy but he was clearly a good guy when yeah. he introduced him yeah, yeah. Mm. whatever I, I also have a theory if you see someone that you know from things they did it like if you watch any like procedural shows right like Law and Order <laughs> oh like yeah Justin Bieber's on Justin Bieber did yeah. it yeah yeah yeah, yeah. That's right. Rain Wilson he did it oh, hilarious they've been trying to shoot him oh, yeah I would love <laughs> to be on a Law and Order episode yeah. But now in the universe, baby, manifest that shit. Honestly, yeah, if you, you were probably to ask, could. Yeah, they if probably you were yeah. ask them, they would. They film enough it. of them. Yeah, yeah. they'd yeah. put you on it for sure. For yeah. sure. Okay. Tweet it out to just, fans. You just hit up the. the well, this is me doing it. Is. I would like to be a dead body on Law and Order. Oh, well, right. I think you have to. You, they would have, put you as like. You need lines. Somebody. Yeah. Miles, well, put that on TikTok. Hashtag it. Let's start a movement. Yeah. Big time. Zach dead. 
Hashtag Zach Dad. Yeah. Dung dung. Damn. Um, um, is it so? It's a full P. Yeah, it's a pl- I, full I I mean, I, I was gonna so. say it's a f- full pleasure. Yeah. I think that I I we didn't get to get into it, but I think that this is um an un underrated piece of sci-fi Ooh. where like this entire this entire run of books and this entire run of movies. A lot of people just put it into the YA category. But if you really just look at it from like a, you know, post-apocalyptic dystopian future, all of that stuff, it is without the 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 YA-ness of it, it's it's really, really good world building. It's really, really good um structure on what the future would look like if there was this cataclysmic war that caused everybody to like kind of split up. And I think it's, it's a good fantastic. point. And yeah. it actually, the YA stuff actually to me is the least effective. It is oh, like yeah. the it love is. triangle. I'm like, yeah, yeah you kind yeah. of, yeah. Like, I don't give it. a shit. Yeah. Both yeah. Whiny bitches get me back to yeah. this cool world. Yeah. The, the world is so, so yeah. cool. It is honestly distracted or, or the YA stuff is there as a distraction. It's like, it's, it's polluted by mm-hmm. YA. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And Suzanne Collins, she, she did uh, author to a beloved young adult series, right? Mm-hmm. She cast that check. She made some good movies and, and she, she shut, shut the, the fuck, fuck up. up. Yeah, she <laughs> shut the fuck up. She didn't say a goddamn yeah, word she after that. God she money. did it like, right. Man. I have thoughts and opinions, but I'm nope. not going to tell you. Nope, I'm going to keep writing and I'm going to give you a prequel. Yeah. Wow, look at this, You're a like, prequel. Girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thanks, girl. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet, I bet J.K. Rowling reached out and she was like, you should get a Twitter. And then and she, she blocked, blocked her. her. <laughs> blocked her phone number. Thanks for the prequel, girl. Girl, don't give a fuck about your opinions yeah. otherwise. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Uh, we have a new portion of the show, Becky, that is uh, unfamiliar to you. This is my pleasure. <laughs> yep. Things in media that you're loving right now. Mm-hmm. Just give people a wreck. It can be a Ooh. book, a movie, show. Mm-hmm. Um, well, I need people to start watching the show so it doesn't get canceled. Which one? But it is based on a book, so I'll be able to find out how it ends if it goes south. Silo on Apple TV. Silo yeah. is phenomenal. If you like dystopian things if you like a little bit of mystery if you like <laughs> if you it's like fun. just good tv it's okay. just good tv okay i'm it to it's my list very good silo good the watch. first three episodes are absolutely crazy the next three episodes are just a lot of information so i'm hoping we get back to a lot of crazy but it is a verver good uh, i'll also recommend silo it's the shroom gummies i use that's <laughs> uh, every time you say that that's what yeah. i think of <laughs> I don't know. I don't have anything. I've just been playing Zelda. I will recommend now that it's all out, uh, Love and Death oh. on HBO Max or now just Max. Ugh, I I call it HBO Max. I'm yeah. calling it HBO Max. Um, I the, uh, the just I, honestly I'd be okay with the re- renaming. If they didn't take away that sexy ass purple. Mm. Yeah, the purple. They brought back blue. I would be okay with it if you didn't have to download a whole new thing. You don't have to log out of your thing. I'm like, why couldn't you just do it? Change the one. Yeah. 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 Why couldn't you do it? Why do I have to do it? Anyway, we it's our favorite bad boy, Jesse Plummins. Mm. stars and he's give it's he's just Jesse he's Jesse and so hard in this series <laughs> and yeah. a lot of people like the Jessica Biel version TV series that they did of the story yeah. of Candy Montgomery this I will say though just get through the first two episodes which is not always what you want to hear but is usually what I hear about what end up being a lot of my favorite shows is like just stick through the first two episodes yeah fair then okay. you start shit starts going down love uh, and death yeah it, yeah, it's still Zelda, man. It's still Zelda. And, and I, I just I, can't even... It's, and you know what? Actually, here's what we'll say. Yeah. Not just... We're, this week, we're not going to talk about the gameplay of Zelda. We're going to talk about the storytelling yeah, of Zelda. It's great. The cutscenes, beautiful. They're great. They're beautiful. It's a. It's such a stunning story, and it's, it's such like... It's it's way more involved while you can also skip it entirely. It's mm. great. Miles, where are you at? Oh, bro. I'm through the fucking wind temple, halfway through the water temple. It's a beautiful game. It's very yeah, relaxing. It's, it's very I play relaxing. it. No, when, you know what? You can... Re- when Julian takes his first so nap sorry. in the morning, <laughs> thank you, Kelsey. So sorry. When Julian takes his first nap, so I wake up at seven and six, and then he oh, goes okay. down around seven thirty ish, and then he pops down, and I'm Zelda. And I'm Maybe so I should have a kid so I can in. play Zelda too. Yeah, you should. Yeah, <laughs> I have I agree. one. I have one you can recommend that's not Zelda. Yeah. What? That you recommended to me, and I watched it. And it was really good. Yeah. It's the Smartless Road Trip. Oh yeah, I those Max. guys rule. There's, yeah. it's so it's good. So they, okay, so the Smartless uh, podcast goes on a road trip. Um, <laughs> it is shot in black and white, which is which is you don't even realize weird, it. It's weirdly <laughs> beautiful, and it is just them. 
and their relationship and it's just talking about their their live shows that they did of their podcast and there's a really really beautiful episode where they talk to Sean's sister that they always talk to on the podcast um uh Tracy mm-hmm. who doesn't know anything about yeah the, uh, about the industry or anything like that so she's like their arbiter for yeah. that they will always throw to to say oh. like here's the explanation of inside baseball stuff yeah. Tracy mm-hmm. this is for Tracy but in actuality they're talking about everybody that doesn't know about mm-hmm. what's going on huh. um and so they have this interview with her and it's like it's really nice I think that everybody should watch it it's and like uh, the first episode the first scene is them getting on a private jet <laughs> and it sets the fucking tone it is so goddamn funny yeah I was laughing so hard, and I was like, "I love these guys. I want to be yeah. friends with them." Yeah, and they're yeah. The, like, they're not shying away from the fact that they're rich as shit, yeah, they're, they're <laughs> not, which is like, we they're don't. Like, this is cool. Yeah, but they're like, they are being as complete in themselves yes. as humanly possible. Yeah, We're just like, recommend. we are a bunch of like dorks that got ex- famous. Ex- <laughs> famous and exceedingly rich. But, I saw the clip where they talked to, about to Sean about like his dad and coming out and stuff like that, and mm. it's so crazy. Yeah, it's so beautiful. And yeah, really nice. They have like a they they do have a really really nice dynamic. It's it's great. Um, Guilty yeah. pleasures tour in twenty twenty four, and we'll film I'm, on our we, private we, jet. It took it. me we'll two it. years to get you to make merch. How many years will it take to get me to make you do a tour? Well, I did buy a jet, and that sort of yeah. that helped. <laughs> the first that helped. most of the budget went to jet. <laughs> yeah, most of the even just there. one live show. I have to beat Zelda first, and then yeah, yeah, yeah we'll see. <laughs> Becky, where can the people find you? What's she working on? At Beck Smacks 2 on all the platforms. Just, you know, working on You Can Sit With Us. Make sure you watch it. We're going to be doing some cool series coming up. Kelsey's coming <gasps> back. Coming back to talk about She's coming back to talk about S E X. You guys yeah. have a, is it like a whole sex month? Yeah, well, I liked your Tucci month idea, so I thought, why not steal sex it? Month. Remind so me. We're doing what are you talking about? Stealing Tucci. Tucci's in this movie. Oh, Stealing Tucci. Stealing Tucci. I'm Stanley so Tucci. sorry. How did we forget? Oh, I wrote down a big note and I'm like, okay, wait, wait, don't bring that up now, Zach. Bring it up in a Thank second. Don't forget Becky. about the two beautiful baby. Can you just do the sound effect? Tucci, that's Tucci. Give it to me, Tucci. Give it to me, Tucci. Oh, um, yeah. His, his veneers are crazy yeah. in this movie. So cute. I've yeah. never seen whiter. He teeth. gives good face in this. Mm-hmm. He gives oh, a good he face acting. Oh, yeah. Of course he does. Okay, so you're doing a yeah. instead of Tucci month, you're doing sex <laughs> month. Which is kind of Tucci month. I to tell you about the mouth chlamydia when I come on because I won't remember. Oh I would love that. Okay. I would love okay, that. Okay, well, you guys got that to look forward to. Mental yeah. note. My goodness. I'm at Corn Duty on all things. I'm Kelsey Dare on all things. I'm Gary Bernard on all the things. And until next time. I do I do have something to promote. <gasps> what? Yeah, I am um I'm doing a nice little tour of headlining gigs. What? That's right, you're going to Tampa. I'm going to I'll be at um Tampa Side Slitters yes. from June 8th through the 11th. My family's going. Ooh. Are they? Mm-hmm. Oh my god. Yeah, please don't let them see me bomb. Yeah. You're so funny and you're so great, and anyone would be lucky to see you live. Oh Where can people go get tickets? Guilty horrors go and on, go buy the um, stickers and merch and wear it to a show. Just go to Garrick's social media. Yeah, He's going to post all <laughs> the shows. Link in yeah, bio. Link in bio. Link in bio. Link in bio. Wait, how many shows are you doing? Um, I'm doing six. That's well, a lot. Yeah, a so I'm time. doing uh, two a night. You going to wear these boots? Yeah, I will. Oh, yeah. Show, show, mm. show, show the boots camera. Yeah, There's they're... zipper oh, there's some cowboy boots. boots. Well, I'm at Courtney on all things. We're doing it again. I'm Kelsey Darren on all the things. I'm Gary Bernard on all the things. And until next time, nice acting. Almost thought that was a real kiss. Oh, my fucking bitch. 